Hey there, love nuts. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tim here on Horror for Dummies TV. Are you a goth? Do you have a goth size appetite? An appetite the size of Satan himself? Well, fear not. I'm here with a recipe that's going to feed even the blackest of hearts. Get ready for goth pasta, vampire pasta. I haven't given it a name yet, but it's coming. But in order to cook this recipe, I must think like a goth. I must act like a goth. And I must dress like a goth. So let's get ready. Job bam! Hey, it's Goth Tim here. I'm ready to cook some pasta, some vampire pasta for you guys, I guess. I don't even care, I don't even like cooking, but you have to eat, I guess. So get ready for vampire goth pasta. It's gonna be black, as black as my soul. Okay, let's do this fucking so shit. So we'll start off with our ingredients. Of course, it starts off with the spaghetti, the pasta, and then you need extra virgin olive oil. Make sure it's extra virgin. Then we've got some prawns, some shrimp if you want to call it that, whatever, I don't even care. And then last but not least, well not last, but we've got cherry tomatoes because they look like clumps of blood and I like blood, yeah. And garlic because why not? Even though this is vampire pasta, I don't care. So what you want to do next, because you can see I'm putting water on a stove and I'm going to boil that water because that's how you cook pasta what I was told anyway, <laughs> whatever. And now I'm putting the pasta in the water to boil. And that's how you cook pasta. It's such art. And, and there you can see the pasta being boiled. So over here I've got my pan and I'm, and I'm ready to cook some stuff. I've got my extra virgin olive oil because you always want it to be a virgin. And I'm putting my garlic in there, I'm cooking the garlic just a little bit, just frying up that garlic. Keeping away those vampires, even though this is vampire pasta, but whatever. And I've got my shrimp, and I want to cook those shrimp. Shrimp are really easy to cook, and we don't call them shrimp, we call them prawns, but whatever. It's not like you care anyway. Just stirring around those prawns, in with the garlic. It looks like shit for right now, but it comes out pretty good. And now I'm adding my clumps of blood, my blood clots, that I call them. Cherry tomatoes, but I call them my blood clots because it sounds cooler. Whatever. Yeah. So just stir it around with the prawns and the garlic. Make it really nice. Back to my pasta, and you can see that it's been boiling here, and it's pretty much cooked. Yeah, I'm showing you that it's cooked, so that you know. And back to the prawns now. Prawns and my blood clots in with the garlic. Give it a bit of a stir around, a bit more, just to make sure that it is actually cooked. Now what we've got to do here is we've got to drain the pasta of the water so you can eat it, because you don't want to eat boiling water, because that would suck. So just drain the water. I don't have many favorite things in life, but this is my favorite part of the recipe. This is when we get to dye the pasta black. Like my black hair. Not like you would care anyway. Yeah. This is the best part. Because this is where I get to play with gel. Not for my hair, but like food gel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this pasta turn black. Black like my soul. Black like my life. So I've got the pasta here and I'm putting it back into the bowl without the water because once again you don't want the boiling water because it will burn your mouth which I mean maybe some of you need that <laughs> whatever and I put some water I add some water just before I add the gel just to make it easier to mix and now here I go I'm adding the food gel squirt that some bitch in oh, there's nothing better than squirting into pasta I do it often there's no real right or wrong uh, amount of gel that you can put in, just whatever, whatever you want. If you want it as black as black, then put more in, whatever. Give it a good stir once you put the gel in. You can see that it's slowly turning black. It looks like a gray color, kind of my outlook on life at the moment, but slowly we're gonna get to a blacker color and that's gonna come up really nice. There's nothing better than the color black. It just, 
explains my life. And I'm washing, once I've done it, I'm washing it off, just getting the, the excess gel out of this pasta, giving it a nice wash. Because even though it's dark and dirty, you still want it nice and clean. And just to add a bit more, add some more virgin to it. Oh, nothing better than sweet virgins. And give it a bit of a stir. And there you can see the finished product with blood clots and prawns and garlic and all. It looks like worms and that's how it's meant to look, so. And there we have it. Goth vampire pasta. Which isn't very vampire at all because it has garlic in it. And vampires don't like garlic. I know, I've read Twilight. So there we have it. You can do it yourself. Let's see if this tastes any good. Mmm. It tastes like pasta. Which is just fine, I guess. Nothing amazing. There you have it. Get yourself some goth pasta. And try and have a good day. Whatever. That's hey. <laughs> so it's daddy. It's daddy. They're not black. Ah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Y